Welcome to Sketching Scotland, a series of tutorials to help you draw our beautiful country. For this drawing, we're going back two and a half thousand years. We're drawing a reconstructed artificial island at the Scottish Cranach Centre in Loch T. If you're going to be doing lots of sketching, I would recommend you buy a few essentials. A hardback sketchbook and a range of pencils, pencil sharpener, a rubber or an eraser if you're from across the pond, a good seat and desk, kitchen table will probably do the trick, or you can draw on a tablet, as I'm doing on this demo. But all you need are the three Ps, paper, pencil, and a bit of patience. Okay, let's get sketching. So Kranag means basket. So basically it's a big woven basket built for humans. Okay, so first we're gonna draw the horizon line about a third of the way up the page. Then we're gonna draw a long rectangle and a triangle on top of that. That gives us the basic structure of the Kranag. And then we're gonna add in a rough wooden fence along the rectangle. So this should stretch from the top of the rectangle to the horizon line. So this Kranag was built on discoveries um, lying in the bottom of the T. And you can actually see the team still excavating the, the original Kranag. So they're constantly learning how people lived um, and the techniques that they used and everything in the is reconstructed. The whole Kranag, there's no nails, there's no screws. It's all just woven together like a big basket. It's fascinating. And then a series of support sticks, which are going to go under the horizon line. And then run them right across the, the rectangle. And you can make them kind of a bit random, because these are all made out of random sticks. Um, so they used uh, timber just from around the, the loch. The people lived in the Kranag and farmed and hunted around the surrounding area. Talking of which, it's a great area around Perthshire. Totally gorgeous. I was born in Perth, so I'm a bit biased. But yeah, you're like 30 minutes from Pitloch Ray and loads of nice places, Glen Eagles, Dunkeld, Kenmore, uh, Killin, uh, loads of Highland games, on this big tree country, so lots of great stuff for the outdoors. And once you've got all your support sticks, I'm just going to add a little bit more detail into the roof and then into the background, adding the church, it's the Kenmore Church. Um, it's a lovely little spot right next to the loch. Which can get pretty cold, especially in the winters, um, which is actually the clever design of this Kranug, because it was off the water. It's actually warmer where it is than it, if you were on land. And also in the summertime, it's actually a bit cooler when it does get hot. It does get hot sometimes in Scotland. Trust me, honestly. Well, you know, warm. So once you've got the bit of detail in the background, I'm just going to add in the detail of this rock pile, uh, just along the, on the shores. And then just go back into a little bit of detail, just any extra little bits in the thatched roof. Add a little bit of movement to the, the water. Add a few clouds, classic Scottish clouds. Lovely thing to add some colour as well. It's very green. Like I say, big tree country, so it's it's really really green. Definitely recommended for families. This place, um, the staff are great. Great experience. Great. So there we go. That is the Cranach Centre. When you've completed this one, why not try sketching another location? We'd love to see your sketches, so please send them to us using the hashtag SketchingScotland. It's not quite the same as being here, only in Scotland can you appreciate the full beauty of these types of sites, but it should keep you busy until you can come and sketch in person. For now, happy drawing!